Today we would be beginning with a very interesting topic and that is eye one of the major sense organs now we already know there are five sense organs we have eye ears then we have the sense of smell through the nose we have the touch receptors which is which are present in the skin and then we have uh, the tongue which basically sense the taste now if we talk about eye what it actually does is it converts the light energy into electrical energy and the whole process which is uh, can i can say can be divided into two sections one is the concept of physics where we understand the concept of light the properties of light and the second is the structure of the eye and how it is similar to a pinhole camera so today we would be talking about the structure of eye in detail now let's understand the structure of eye if we understand our eye itself we understand that you have the white layer that is there and this white layer is not present just in the front but it is present in the whole of the eye now this eye could be considered as a ball which is having a outermost layer which is white in color except the center part the cornea which is transparent through which the light actually goes in so the white layer that we can see outside the pupil and the iris that is there we'll understand these terms in a while is the scurla now scurla is a layer which is tough outer coating that is present it is not only present in the front but also on the periphery so on this whole ball on all the sides you would have scurla that would be present except the very front where this scurla would not be white in color but would be transparent so that is the first and the most important concept the next most important concept is out within this white layer that we have we have the circle of the eye that is visible and there there are two further circles concentric rings we could say one inside other the innermost one is the pupil and outside the pupil is the iris now what is the role of the iris iris basically helps in understanding the color of the eye and it controls the size of the pupil we would understand the concept of accommodation in higher standards where we would understand this in more detail in the coming sections now the next important thing is the pupil now what does pupil actually does pupil is a pigment uh, pu pupil basically has a black pigment that is present which absorbs all of the light that is falling in and the size of this pupil is basically governed by what this is governed by iris so that is the frontmost structure that we have talked about now where does the image actually form the image forms on the retina which could be seen in the back of the eye so on this ball that we are talking about right now we were on the front which is the pupil the iris that is visible to us and on the back side of this ball we would have what we would have the retina that is present and on this retina you would have the image that would be formed now again we have another important concept which is the lens now this lens that is present is suspended by the suspendary ligaments and it is supported by the ciliary muscles now this lens between this lens and the outermost cornea that is present you have the aqueous humor that is filled in and between the lens and the back side so beyond the lens the back side of the eye you would have the vitreous humor that is present vitreous humor is a jelly like substance aqueous humor which is present towards the outside region outside the lens between the lens and the cornea we could say is watery pigment so that is a major difference between aqueous humor and vitreous humor that is there now as we have already talked about scurla which is the outermost layer and within this scurla we have uh, the other layers that are present which is the retina and on the retina we have fovea that is present now what is fovea fovea is a point where we have the brightest of the all vision what do we mean by brightest of the all vision let's understand this as one of the page that you are looking in at one time only two of the letters of this page would be visible to you in the clearest form we see the whole of the page 
just because our eyes are scanning through it. But at a time, the most precise and the most clear vision we could say is on just two letters of the whole of the page that you could understand. And that is where you have the image formation on the fovea. Now, fovea is able to accommodate only two degree of the area that is there. So, only two degree of the area is accommodated by fovea. Again, a very, very important concept. The next important thing that we need to understand is cornea is the part of the skull itself, as we said, but it is transparent and behind this cornea we have the pupil and the iris that is present on the lens. Conjectiva is a very very thin layer which is present inside the eyelids and it is a kind of continuous layer with the corneal epithelium and this cornea is indeed important because in most cases where we talk about eye donations what is basically transplanted is the cornea which we would understand in more details now the next important thing as we said about the lens which is transparent it is held by the suspendary uh, ligaments that are there it is flexible and it can change its shape based on the light that is coming in so based on the light that is coming in it's trying to create a focus onto the retina behind and as a result it has a capability to change its shape again that is a higher level concept that we understand about the adjustment of the lens that is present. Uh, the next important thing that we understand is the choroids. Now choroids are the layers which have huge amount of blood cells that are present and these lie between the scurla and the retina. So between the scurla and the retina you have the uh, choroids that are present and uh, then Another important concept that we need to understand is the kind of vision. Now, we have the day vision as well as the night vision. Now, this day and night vision is understood by the rods and the cones. Rods have the capability to uh, detect light in low intensity. However, cones have a capability to detect different colors. So, a good way to remember is rods and wrath. So, Night vision is attributed to rods. So R and R is what you can remember here. So rods, you would have good vision at the night. And owl is a good example, which has significant proportion of rods which are present in the eye. The next important concept is tear glands. Now just inside our eye, above the uh, eyelids, we have the tear gland that is present. Now this tear gland, keeps on secreting and this secretion lubricates the eye there are two advantages first it is a solution of sodium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate and this helps to wash away any kind of dust that is there or affecting your eye. The second important concept is it has lysosomes. Now we already know what are lysosomes. Lysosomes have an ability to kill bacteria and therefore these uh, tear or these uh, the tear which is secreted from the tear glands basically helps to wash away any kind of bacteria that are going into the eye or affecting the eye. So that is another important concept that we need to understand. And finally, we have the lacrimal glands towards the inner side of the eye. And this is where you have the draining of the tear fluid that takes place into the nasal cavity. So again, a close relation which is seen between your eyes and your nose when you especially cry. So that is a very important concept of lacrimal gland which drains the tears ultimately into your nasal cavity. So understanding this is very very important. A quick recap of the structure. The outermost layer is the skirla which is the white tough coating. The front part of the skirla is transparent and that is cornea. 
Inside the cornea, if you look, we have two concentric rings in our eyes. The innermost ring is the pupil. Outside the pupil, you have iris. Iris has the capability to change color or it basically not change color. It gives you the color of the eye. So you, you can see people with blue eye, people with brown eye or black eye and whatsoever. So that is how we understand the role of the iris. Then you have the blind spot that is seen. Uh, fovea where you have the brightest or the clearest vision we can say blind spot where you do not have the vision that is seen and finally it connects to the optic nerve and that sends the light signal into the electric signal so this is the whole concept that we need to understand about eye